Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and I've been requested this a lot lately. We have two catalogs on Scentsy that come out in the spring and in the fall, and every year I have been able to upload the catalog PDF file into a program called Calameo. Well, in the recent, like the last two catalogs, two or three catalogs, it's been very difficult because for some reason the formatting on our PDFs has split the page in half. And so when we upload it to Calameo, it actually cuts the page in half and then you have the bottom half, which is a blank white page. So it makes it kind of hard to see. Um, it's almost as if it's putting it into landscape mode rather than portrait mode. And in the past, we've been able to adjust the PDF. Um, somebody that I know has worked on it, put a lot of hours into recreating the PDF to make it so that it's uploadable in a portrait mode booklet form. And we, can't do that anymore. So um, I tried to upload it again this year and it's not working. So I found another program that actually works just fine and there is a free version. And so that's what I want to show you guys today. So I do have a video from a few years back that show you how to do Calameo, but I'm going to show you how to use any flip. So anyflip.com is the website. They do have a free version, but they also have a package version. So you can purchase the packaging and I'll talk about this in a minute as to why you would want to do that or why you wouldn't want to do that. So on the regular home page for any flip, you're going to see where it does say at the bottom, it's free. It brings you to the pricing as well. Okay. So you're going to need to create a username and password. When you first get to any flip, if you've not created one, it will ask you to create one. Go ahead and do that. Set up your own account. Um, it is free to sign up, so it's not something that you have to pay for in advance. Um, once your account is set up, you'll come to this home page and you can do a quick upload. Now I'm going to show you how to do the upload. We're not going to wait for the upload only because it takes too long and I've already got them uploaded. So I'll show you what it looks like after the fact. You're going to want to select HTML5 and then click on OK. At this point, you're going to want to upload your PDF. So hopefully you'll have downloaded the PDF from your workstation or wherever you're getting your PDF from onto your computer so that you have the ability to upload it here onto the website. So you're going to click upload. You're going to find the catalog that you want, and then you're going to go ahead and click on open. It's going to start doing its uploading. It takes about three to five minutes for it to upload. So at that time, while it's uploading, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to make some changes and add some information to the information here that's going to upload with the catalog. Um, I don't do a lot of fancy stuff. The category I think I found was home under lifestyle, maybe. No, I don't remember what I picked. <laughs> lifestyle home and garden right here home um, you can choose whatever category you want to be very honest with you it's not really going to matter because unless you have people searching for the catalog you're going to just be sharing the link anyway all right um, and at that point that's pretty much all that there is that needs to be done except for waiting for it to upload so once it's finished uploading um, it will add the catalog right here. So I've already uploaded the US one, I've already uploaded the Canadian one. So once this bar has completely converted and everything is done, it's gonna look just like this one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can utilize this now that it's been uploaded into any flip. I also wanna show you at the end how I upload it to my blog so that I can share it off of my blog. So if you highlight over or hover over the catalog image, you're gonna see where it says URL of anyflip.com or the original link. So if you click on URL of anyflip.com, it's actually going to show you the catalog from the website, which is a shareable link for you. If you um, go ahead and I think if I scroll up here, if you copy this link and you share this to any platform actually out there, um, you'll be able to bring them to this page right here. And this is a clickable image. So all they have to do is click on the outside of the catalog and it'll flip the pages through this beautiful catalog that we have. Um, and you can share it that way, okay? Or you can go back over here to your upload and then look at the original link, okay? The original link is 
basically the same thing. It's just a bigger format. Okay, so both of them are going to be giving you the access to the actual catalog on AnyFlip. So AnyFlip is actually storing the catalog for you. And then that way you can share the link for people to view your catalog. All right, so let's go. I want to close some of this so that I don't get all confused. Okay, so if we go back to the catalogs, first of all, I want to show you. Um, I can go ahead and delete this catalog because I've already got it uploaded by hitting the trash can. It will delete it out of my, um, off my bookcase, what they call a bookcase. Okay. The other things you'll notice are down here. There are all kinds of little icons that we can utilize to use to share our catalog. If you want to go back and you want to edit the book, you can click on the gears. It will bring back the page that has uh, the title and the website. Um, I think it's trying to do too many things at once, which is why it's hung up a little bit here. Um, but it brings you back to where you can edit the information here. And um, there's other options as well if you want to make it really fancy. Uh, double click to apply. You can change the background. Um, so there's just a lot of different things that you can do with this particular um, I think I like this one because it's purple. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, you can change the background. You can, there's a lot of different things that you can play around with, um, in order to make your catalog even more fun. Okay. Um, let's go back. We're going to save and close. It will bring us back to the main page. Now, the other thing that you have the ability to do, I'm going to skip this embed for now because I'm going to show you that in a minute, but over here where the share button is, if you click on that, it actually gives you the link that you need that you can copy and paste, or you can actually share it right to your Facebook page. It's going to want to connect to Facebook. Okay. So I can go ahead and share this on my Facebook page. I meant to say flippable. and hit post to Facebook and it'll post. I can do it on Twitter. I can do it on Google Plus and there are some more options by clicking on more that I can go ahead and share in all of these amazing places. All right, um, and you can use a QR code. This is probably what I'm gonna use the most is just by copying and pasting this link. Now. You also have the ability to disable this book. You can edit the text version of this book. You can download this book. Um, you can print it. You can move it to another folder within any flip. Um, you can clone it by making a second one and you can make it public or you can make it private. All right. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can embed this particular book into a blog. Now I use Blogspot. Um, that is my blogger program, my blogger um, website. And if you click on embed, it will actually open up the HTTP um, coding that you need. Now with blogger, it does require that it's the secure version of HTTP. So it's going to be the HTTPS. So I'm just going to copy this code. Okay. Um, I'm going to select how big I want my catalog to be. It can be smaller, it can be bigger. I kind of like the bigger one because it's easier to see. Then I'm going to copy this um, coding and then I'm gonna pop over to my blogger post. So I'm gonna go into blogger. I'm gonna create a new post. I'm gonna go to HTML and I'm going to paste the code that I picked up on my AnyFlip. Okay, I'm going to title this and then I'm going to save it. So what this is going to do is when I go to my blog, now people are going to be able to see my catalog and be able to flip through my catalog right through my page. Okay, so I technically can copy the link to this particular catalog, to this particular post on my 
um, blog and they can view it right from here. Okay, so that's another way that you can utilize HTML for people to. Um, I want to delete that because I've already got one. All right, that was just kind of a little quick bonus. But that is how you upload your catalog to AnyFlip. I hope you found that helpful. Um, happy new spring and summer catalog to all your Sunsea consultants, and I will see you all later. Bye.